and they were also offers that 70 crore were being offered by a PTI candidate to different members and then that pan, uh, that candidate was not given a party ticket and later on when he won uh, god knows how he was uh, offered and inducted into PTI so yes okay. uh, all of this should be investigated and if someone but is the, found guilty he but should be the proof of but that i sir. also hear another thing pratapi saab i hear that a lot of uh, government MNAs who did not want to uh, vote for confidence, who did not want to support the vote for confidence, they were held in containers and not, uh, you know, and they were, uh, their software was changed before uh, them being allowed to go into the, and they were forced to go into the parliament. So a lot is right. happening and I'm also saying that we have evidence and uh, we have recordings that uh, certain uh, institutes, members of the certain institutes have been calling our uh, senators and telling them how to utilize their votes. A lot of drama is happening in Pakistan and uh, it is quite sad. Okay, uh, now uh, uh, that is the thing. I understand that uh, uh, your, this is an additive of your party and I, I welcome uh, that if you have any evidence, you should be tabling it. But so far, we have only heard two or three leaders of your party actually making those claims. Uh, I understand this container that actually came from Maryam Nawaz Sahiba, but from her on record also came the claim of inducement uh, through the offer of tickets, and which is thought to be an inducement and, uh, you know, uh, some kind of um, shoddy kind of activity. So um, that bit is on evidence, uh, is part of evidence. When are you going to offer your evidence and when are you going to apologize for this claim so today uh, at a press briefing we brought that senator who, rece who re uh, received the call and uh, you know we, we briefed the whole country what had happened so that was our evidence right over there and no, about but, but he's your party sir. but he's your party right it is a claim coming from your party you will have to yes, establish that obviously. there was somebody on the other side of the call and you'll have to give us some tips of course we have those recordings and yes, the party will decide whether they are going to release them and when they are going to release them. But uh, right. what is more that I would like to refute Shibli Faraz Saab's claim that it is the independents who will decide. No, it's not so. The 47 or 48 uh, votes of uh, PTI and the coalition partners include the independents, whereas our number, the 52 minus Isargar, uh, 53 minus Isargar, in, 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 includes only our coalition partners. Of course it is being used and it's not our narrative, it is the narrative of many justices who have uh, heard the, 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 the cases and who are hearing and giving bails on different uh, cases. So, you know, the judgments speak, Human Rights Commission speaks. We are, we are talking about Khaja Saab Rafiq case, right? And, and in that case there was uh, an opinion that was given. Yes, and many others. Of okay. course. But uh, regardless, we are talking about today's condition, whether NAB is being used or not. Uh, can you prove that in these 24 hours or last 40 48 hours, there was a circumstance where NAB actually reached out to people and told them, uh, if you don't vote for Sadiq Sanjitani, we are going to come after you. Hafiz Abdul Karim, the senator, he, he was talking, he himself told no, that, that I have been giving notices by NAB and you know just before the election there is a lot Adana of Saab, Adana Saab, you realize that uh, in front of an honorable court of law till the time you don't produce some physical evidence it is called hearsay he said she said and at this moment this is your side accusing somebody else without any evidence well I would I, I agree to your point and I would suggest to my party to release those audio tapes so everything comes clear and yeah. that it should be done. That that's, way, of that's admirable suggestion. But um, you are confident that Yusuf Tazagit Nani Saab actually wins tomorrow. Is it what you are saying? I, I'm, I'm hoping that uh, okay. you know, because we have a majority, it should be like that. And in the end, what does your party get out of this again? Well, I think it will be a success of PDM, just as it was a success by uh, defeating Hafiz Sheikh, that uh, in actuality, and uh, considering morality, uh, uh, there has been a vote of no confidence in, against uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan, and I was hearing 
my sister saying that you know uh, they said that uh, we uh, from the parliamentary committee it was also said that we forgive if someone uh, we forgive those 16 members who were bought if they were bought or not that we would like them to support for the vote of confidence so you know uh, on moral high ground and you know keeping that in view i think pm uh, pti has already no, no, been defeated but, uh, but uh, perhaps you didn't actually get her, her point and she made a very uh, interesting point that because there was a secreted ballot uh, something against which you have taken a moral and principal stand in the charter of democracy because that was not there and because there was no track and trace system in the end the government has no way to tell which candidate voted against them well it's quite easy the ones who you stopped from going to the assembly and were held in the container some of them were there and this uh, container can you can you uh, uh, can you identify where uh, do i find containers uh, at golnoda for that matter the, the party has but there's one more thing for tafi saab i would like to add before i answer that is that okay. when the government presented the bill uh, the amendment to the election uh, act uh, for uh, o open balloting they did not present it for this uh, election of chairman senate no so you know no, that is not interesting let me of your conclusion sir i think establishment should not intervene in politics and their actions should speak not their mouths and that is right. whether they think it or not one more thing right. this polarized uh, politics in pakistan is really sad and i think that imran khan is uh, you know culprit for that and also you know where we're saying that there is so much money being spent what are our agencies doing Why hasn't anyone proved that money is being taken in? Uh, no, but it is not the job of those uh, agencies to do that. With due respect, it is not primarily their job. It is the election commission. Mm -hmm. But I will That's take this I, as your conclusion. The election commission, the agencies, the whole the system should somehow some some evidence should come, and you know someone should be punished for it rather than be hearing it on TV all the time without anything being done or anyone right. being prosecuted. Right. 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 Right